The Gully Washer, written and illustrated by Joyce Rossi. A note from the author. When the grandfather in this story was a young man, and for many years before, cattle roamed the western rangeland freely. Since there were few or no fences, cattle owners hired horsemen to tend their stock. Mexican horsemen, called vaqueros, were the first cowboys, or buckaroos. Life on the ranch was harsh. Among the greatest dangers were the gully washers, or thunder showers, that struck during the spring and summer. These violent storms often caused flash floods and stampedes. But of all the cowboys' hardships, the greatest was loneliness. There were times, perhaps during a roundup, when cowboys joined their fellow workers around a campfire to sing songs or tell stories. Some of their favorite tales were about men, like themselves, who faced difficult tasks. But in these tall tales, the hero always won. With each telling, the stories grew more outrageous. The storyteller would keep a straight face to convince the listener that the unbelievable story was true. This made the listener laugh even more. Tall tales were sometimes called whoppers, windies, galley floppers, or yarns. They demonstrate cowboys' love of sharing laughter among friends, much as Leticia and her grandfather share the gully washer. Leticia and her grandfather watched the summer rain clouds drift across the southwestern sky. Now that was a gully washer, said Leticia's grandfather. We better wait a minute before we take our walk. It could start up again. Leticia climbed onto the arm of the old stuffed chair. Look at me, Abuelito. Giddy up, she shouted. Hey, little vaquera, said her grandfather as he sank into the cushion beside her. You got room in your saddlebag for an old-timer like me? See, si. answered Leticia, bouncing up and down. Where are you off to so fast, asked Abuelito. I am going to round up the cattle and take them back to the rancho, just like you used to do. Leticia twirled an imaginary lasso above her head and gave it a toss. Tell me about when you were a vaquero, she said. That was a long time ago. I think I forgot, teased Abuelito. No, you haven't. You remember, please, begged Leticia. Oh, yes, began Abuelito slowly. I remember a spring day many years ago when the biggest golly washer ever came my way. I was searching for stray cattle just south of here. The sky turned dark as night. Dust devils came whipping off the mesas, blowing my sombrero high up into the sky. The rain began, and it wouldn't stop. I looked for shelter, but there wasn't any. I had to let the rain wash over me. After the storm was finally over, I saw how the water had wrinkled my hands. When I looked at my reflection in a water hole, I could see that the rain had wrinkled my face, too. And that's the way I've looked ever since. Leticia laughed. She reached over and ruffled her grandfather's fluffy white hair. And how did you get this? She asked. I climbed back on my horse and rode until I was too tired to go on. I stopped to take a siesta in the shade of a palo verde. While I slept, a hummingbird began to take strands of my hair to make her nest. The pajarita was so gentle and quiet, I never woke. One by one, she plucked the dark-colored hairs, but she left all the white ones for me. Leticia giggled and patted her grandfather's round belly. Now tell me how you got this. I was very hungry when I woke up, but I had no food, so I rode on until I came to a village. There, an old woman sitting in front of her house, grinding corn on her matate. I asked her if she could spare a handful, and she gave me some of her hard kernels. I swallowed them whole, but I was still hungry so I gobbled some chili peppers hanging on the wall nearby. The old woman jumped up and began to wave. No, Vaquero, she shouted, but it was too late. The chilies were as hot as fire. They made the corn pop, 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 and my stomach grew 
grew, grew. Pop, 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 said Leticia, jumping off the chair and hopping around the porch. Look, the clouds are going away. Let's go for our walk now. I'll pull you up. The smell of the damp desert was strong and sweet. Leticia jumped over the puddles and skipped circles around Abuelito as they moved slowly down the road. Abuelito, why are you so bent over? asked Leticia. Did that also happen on the day of the big golly washer? As a matter of fact, it did, said her grandfather. I climbed onto my horse to begin the long journey home, but the horse was tired and wouldn't budge. I tried to push him and I tried to pull him, but he stood solid as a mountain. What did you do? asked Leticia. Well, said Abelito, I swung that cabaya over my shoulders and carried him all the way home on my back. They stopped to rest at the mission. Leticia became very quiet. What's the matter? said Abelito. It's not like you to be so still. Does it make you sad to be bent over? Leticia asked. Abelito thought for a minute. No, little vaquera, he said as they began their walk home. It makes me closer to you. And he stooped just a little to kiss her forehead. Hope you enjoyed the Golly Rosser. It was read by Renee and Kinsley Houston.